Hello everybody and welcome to another reaction video and today we're going to be doing something that I'm quite looking forward to. <clears throat> uh, we're going to be reacting to a band called Versailles. Now having never heard of Versailles before I obviously had to do a little bit of research and I came up with Versailles, otherwise known as Versailles Philharmonic Quintet in the United States because reasons, because for some reason they don't like to refer to things by their actual name, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> they are a visual K band, Japanese visual K band should I say, formed in 2007. Now, I do like some Japanese visual K bands. Um, before I've I've actually reacted to what my, one of my all-time favourite Japanese visual K bands, Duran Grey, on here before, and then of course you've got bands like uh, Malice Miser and X Japan, and many many others. Um, so I'll be interested to um, see what this band is like. Um, right, it says here in two thousand and nine. Shortly after signing a deal with Warner Music Japan, bassist Jasmine Yu announced that he would be taking some time off from the band for personal health reasons. And unfortunately, days later, he died. Um, now I tried to do a little bit of research to see if I could find out what the cause of death was, and I couldn't find it. Uh, I couldn't find anything that actually stated what it was that he died of, which is unfortunate. And it says, excuse me, to this day, Jasmine Yu is still considered to be an eternal member of the band. And this is something I've seen before um, with the band X Japan. Uh, they had a guitarist called Hide who um, died and Again, to this day, he is considered a permanent member of the band. Um, if um, they actually display his guitar prominently on stage, where he would be standing and performing, and they still actually show video clips of him performing um, when they play live. Um, if any of you actually own the DVD for Saw Four. Um, X Japan actually did the um, end credits theme song for the film, and there was the video of it is actually uh, in the bonus contents of the DVD, and you'll actually see whilst they're performing on top of the building, th there's his guitar standing on stage, and they intercut the video with like footage from a, co a live performance, and they'll show this guy with bright red hair and playing his guitar, and that's he day and they do this because they still consider him a permanent member of the band so it's very so it's it seems to be a a recurring theme through these sorts of bands they really really care about their members and consider them permanent members anyway uh, the track that I'm going to be checking out is called history of the other side um, now I can only imagine that this might have something to do with uh, talking about the afterlife, strangely enough. Um, the song itself, obviously, is sung in Japanese. I have found an English translation, but I'm not sure how accurate it's going to be. So, um, anyway, I have waffled on for about four minutes now, so I think we'll just get straight to the music and um, see what this is like. So, um, yes. This is Versailles, History of the Other Side.
か枯れ葉のたわむれは彼らの悲しみさえ見ようともせず自らの心の裏側に張り付き壊れる思いだけを Vocally, it sounds pretty typical for most Japanese visual K bands that I've heard. They all seem to have a very, very similar voice and vocal style.、Um, musically, it's. I'm not sure how to put this because it's got the strings in the background and the strings. You know, every, anybody who knows me knows that I have a soft. Spot for violins. I absolutely love the sound of violins.、Um, and the guitars, you know, they're pretty heavy, but for some reason, something about the music just seems a little bit thin.、Um, I mean, I like it, but there seems to be something wrong. I don't know if it's the mixing of the track or what, but there is. There seems to be a depth of sound that's missing.、Um, that might just be me. I don't know. But、um, <clears throat> from what I've made out from these lyrics, because this, this translation seems to be rather all over the place, but there is a specific line. That says, The moment of silence violently draws near and attacks us, which to me sounds like. Death approaching someone,、um, and as I said at the beginning, with the track being called History of the Other Side, excuse me, I suspect this has got something to do with like life and death, you know, like the other side being like the afterlife, at a guess. And with that line, the moment of silence violently draws near and attacks us, it sounds like death creeping up on you, you know, draw, silently drawing near, and then violently attacking you, basically just. Your life ending, and that's you know, that's that, that's what it seems to be. Um, uh, but yeah, the, this in, the translation doesn't, I'm not sure whether it's like entirely accurate or if they've just translated it like word for word verbatim, and rather than. Translating the sentences with meaning because the the first verse here it says, The game with dead leaves, which are drenched in love and rain, without seeing their sadness, closely watching the back of our own hearts, we only protect those thoughts that seem to break. I mean, whilst it, you know, it does make some kind of sense, the sentences also kind of don't really go together. I mean, watching closely watching the back of our own hearts. I'm not even sure what that is. Although that line there, we only protect those sorts that seem to break. That's that's kind of a, you know, a good line, you know, protecting the thoughts that seem to break. We only closely guard the ones that we're afraid might shatter, sort of like our perceptions of someone or, you know, 
romantic thoughts or something towards a person you you protect those you hold those ones closest other thoughts are like you know fleeting and you can just push aside I don't know but anyway I'm not entirely sure but <clears throat> well, we'll carry on and see where this goes They must have heard me because the music has certainly picked up a fair bit um, <clears throat> since I last paused it. You know, they're just right in the middle of some pretty awesome guitar solos. Um, the, <coughs> excuse me. There's um, I do like when you, I read translations of some of these Japanese bands. I do love the way they word some things. And if this translation is accurate as it is Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. There's these lines here. Maybe the gods wished for this to cut the sea and land into half, laughing at people's fights and fears. Now we're looking at just one sky. I give this song to those who don't have wings. Some day a beautiful flower will bloom in this world together with this time. Now, that last line I'm not entirely sure is possibly translated correctly, but that line there, maybe the gods wished for this to cut the sea and land into half. Now, are they referring to, you know, cut? Cutting the sea and land into half, you know. Are they talking about the division of countries? I'm not sure. Um, but there's that. Now we're looking at just one so one sky. So whilst the 
seas and lands are separated there is still only one sky and the sky is obviously where people consider the other side to be um, and I give this song to those who don't have wings so he's offering you know like he's offering the song to those people who aren't on the other side so that they can sort of feel some some ease maybe and the phone's ringing I'm not going to answer that um, so uh, well, I feel completely off track of what I was saying yeah um, he's offering that song to those who don't have wings so those people that are still on earth and who might have loved ones on the other side um, so maybe he's offering it as some sort of solace as an explanation to the people on the other side you know saying like you know they're happy they're contented they're okay now possibly um, again this is pure guesswork because I don't know how accurate this translation is so um, yeah the the music is certainly seemed to have picked up from when the song started maybe a I don't know but I do, I do quite like it I'd be interested to hear some more of their stuff because I mean like I said with bands like um, Grand Grey, X Japan and Malice Miser I've heard multiple albums of theirs some of them are really really good some of them are diabolically bad so um, I would be interested in hearing more of their stuff hmm. let's carry on
Well, <clears throat> so that was History of the Other Side by Versailles. Um, there was a line right near the end of the song there <clears throat> that actually may have changed the meaning of the song completely. All along I've been thinking History of the Other Side, the other side might be the afterlife. But a line here says, Humans are being bo Human beings are being born and love for someone's sake, aren't they? At least teach them a different way to love. Now this bit makes me think that maybe this is about um, war and prejudice. <clears throat> I mean, there was, there was the line earlier, um, maybe the gods wished for this to cut the land and sea into half, laughing at people's fights and tears. And I said it could be talking about the division of the land and countries. So, when it's a history of the other side, the other side could possibly mean, like, the perceived enemy, um, as it were. Like... Because there was the line that we're, we're all looking at just one sky. Um, I give this song to those who don't have wings. Someday a beautiful, beautiful flower will bloom in this world. Now, it's basically saying, like, like, whilst we live on separate countries, we're still looking at the same sky. We all live on the same planet. Why can't we just get along? Why can't we all just be happy? And what you're saying there, someday a beautiful flower will bloom in this world. I'm wondering if that's suggesting, like, sooner or later, you know, a beautiful flower will bloom, meaning, like, the world will come to peace, come to realise that, you know, we're all we've all got just as much right to be on this planet as everybody else. You know, one day, this, you know, it is essentially the symbolism of world peace, like the beautiful flower blooming in this world is the symbolism of world peace. Everybody being happy with everybody else, no more fighting, no more wars, nothing like that. That could possibly be what it means. It could also mean uh, what I was saying before with the afterlife. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but like I said, whilst that song did, it did seem to start off a little bit thin on the music side, but it certainly filled out quite well. Um, and I did really enjoy it, it sounded really good. Um, and like I said before, I'd be very, very interested in hearing some more of their stuff. And hopefully seeing an actual video rather than just the album cover. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested in hearing more of the stuff because, I mean, not like I said, I'm, I'm a fan of other Visual K um, music and... Um, yeah, I shall uh, leave that one as it is. If anybody else would like to suggest um, a track for me to check out, uh, then please do so by all means. Drop a comment in the comment section below or message me on Instagram. Um, if you have um, suggested a track um, and you haven't seen it yet, rest assured it is coming. Um, I write down every track that is suggested to me and I write them down in the order that they're suggested to me too so you know to try and be fair to the people that have suggested tracks but then the thing is I do get suggested many many tracks a day so um, you know you may have suggested your track a while ago and it still hasn't come up yet but that's because you know several others had been suggested before yours so um, rest assured that it is it is coming it will be done I promise you that something I would like to add um, is recently at, at towards the end of November. It was it would have been the thirty second birthday of Sophie Lancaster. Um, for those of you who don't know, Sophie Lancaster is I highly recommend um, looking it up. Um, she was a young girl in England who was into alternative music as I am myself and she and her boyfriend were set upon by a a bunch of thugs um, who basically um, they basically kicked her to death just for looking different because she was because she was a goth and um, the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is a um, charity that is very close to my heart I have been supporting them for years um, and I want to try and do my part for them. Um, 
straight out of nowhere endorsing me to um, do this or anything like that. And they're not sponsoring me or anything like this. But um, I'm going to start putting links to the Sophie Lancaster Foundation in the description of my music because um, uh, I, I think what they're doing is great. I mean, they've the Sophie Lancaster Foundation here and here. Um, they want to put an end to hate crimes like happened to their daughter. Um, nobody should be beaten, picked, up, picked on, or made to feel like a lesser human being for um, you know being different, for wanting to be different, for wanting to stand out. Nobody should be um, oppressed. Nobody should be like there shouldn't be any prejudice against someone just because they look dress or listen to different music um, so I'm going to be starting putting uh, links to the Sophie Lancaster Foundation into my um, videos description because it's a charity that does mean an awful lot to me and um, having seen that message a few days ago that um, it would have been her 32nd birthday um, at the end of last month it was it's, it's something that quite hit quite hit home for me because I mean there have been points in time where I've been jumped up been beaten up just because I look differently um, because I listen to different music you know we shouldn't have to change who we are how we behave what music we listen to just to conform to the societal norms you know, if we want to listen to heavy music, we can listen to heavy music. If they want to listen to chart music, if they want to listen to gangster rap, whatever, they can do that. I mean, numerous times I've been walking down the streets and I've had people yelling goth at me. People going, oh, you know, you know, you're a fucking weirdo, you're a freak. You know, I've had... Um, preachers on the street saying they can save my soul because of the way I dress. My soul doesn't need saving. There is nothing wrong with my soul. I'm not an inherently evil person. I don't worship Satan, which you consider to be an evil thing. You know, but you don't see people like us, you know, the people of alternative music styles, you don't see us walking down the streets shouting, oh, you listen to rap. You, you don't see us saying that because you listen to Snoop Dogg, you're going to walk down the street and bust a cap in someone's ass. We're not, you know, you don't see us doing that to them. So why should, why would they do this to us? You know, anyway, so as I said, I'm getting off track. Um, Sophie Lancaster is a very important um, charity to my heart. So I am going to start putting links to them in my uh, videos um, yeah anyway I'll leave that as it is thank you all very very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye